I'm here <laughs> with Jay Z and Beyonce. Oh my goodness. <laughs> of natural hair, Kashira and Mark. Um, and I met up with them at the Curly Nikki event. And um, just in passing, Kashira shared with me that she is no longer working at her nine to five. And immediately that just got me like, <laughs> I was shocked, I was excited, I was like, I wanted to know what, um, what the process was of dropping everything and just going for your dreams and like, especially mm -hmm. between the two of you, what was the conversation, mm -hmm. how did that happen? So I just wanted to start first by asking what what are you running after? What is your dream? Well, our dream together is self-employment, uh -huh. self-empowerment, entrepreneurship. Right. Yes. We want to, when we, like, our dream for the long term is when we're, when we want to um, settle down and have a family, that we can actually be there. Yeah, focus right. and So, and like, for me, long term, I'm, I'm thinking about, like, I don't want to be, like, a weight. I want to be able to be at home and mm -hmm. have that family time yeah. and also have like um like maybe like a passive, passive flow of income. income. Yeah. Income. Okay. And what's the, so what's the plan? Or what through through what means? So, um well we're very creative. Very, mm -hmm. very creative. Um so we're looking at avenues to capitalize on. Um be it filmmaking, uh writing, um music. And um, right now, we're really honing in on what we're going to do short term and mm -hmm. still figuring out long term right. how to be sustainable and, um, you know, how to make this, build this wealth and family wealth. Mark wants to be a film director. Mm -hmm. I am yeah. a film director. <laughs> <laughs> when I grow up. I mean, Mark, right now your videography... You gotta do more films to be a film director. You gotta make a film, Mark. You gotta do some. Okay, I have a few screenplays. Yeah, a few you gotta more work. Finish up and true, I'm gonna do a, a official feature length film. So true. And my thing is writing. Right. So we wanna maybe um, create like a YouTube series. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but that's like one. We have so many things going on that that's like that's just one that's thing. Not, not I would go into Whole Foods. Uh oh. And I'd be like, yo, her hair is so dope. Her hair is. <laughs> I knew you as the girl with the most beautiful hair at Natural oh, at Whole Foods yeah. before your YouTube oh. channel. Wow. So I met them initially at Curl Days, and I was like Star Trek because I was like, you know, this is the girl from Whole Foods with the gorgeous hair. She's here. I was really excited about that. Yeah, but I, I go into, I, I mentioned the Whole Foods thing because you were working a nine to five at Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you were always like freelance. You never were bogged down by a nine to five. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even though I worked for a company, uh, QVC, I was employed, but it was still freelance. Right. So, but like in my mind, even though it was freelance, in my mind, I was still like employed. Right, right. I had to make that mental shift to where right. I'm self-employed and I'm contracted to, to different companies. So that that was like my stepping out of you know. I want to say enslavement, but <laughs> security. <laughs> say it. Stepping out of uh, your yeah, personal security, like just job security and uh, do, owning up to your own business, being your own right. CEO. You know. So what was your process? Was it like? Pillow talk like, I can't do this no more, baby. Yeah. I got, I can't do this. I hate my stress. So many she nights of that. Like, I would actually get like physical pain. Oh, Because it was it. like. No, I know anxiety. I know that feeling. Yeah, it was like repetitive. Uh -huh. It was like mindless. True, true, true. And like when people check out, they don't want to, most of them really don't want to have a conversation with mm -hmm. you. They just want to like get their stuff and get out of the store, you know? Mm -hmm. It's crazy to sit there anyway. Like, so mm -hmm. I just felt like. I, I felt like my soul was being drained. Like I felt. Yeah. How how long was the process before you decided to quit? to quit? This is the thing. Like I wanted to quit, but I didn't want to quit until like having like a plan. True. Right. So like, this is this is it. This is it. So this is this is it. What I want to get into. Was there was it a plan? Okay, was it a plan or was it fear? Like, was it, like, with yeah. me, I'm like, 
I can't with I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm just like I can't. For number one, I have a daughter, so it's a different yeah, situation. Sure. Like mm-hmm. that's a yeah. whole other wall. Yeah. It's just a mental block. It's not necessarily a real obstacle, but mm-hmm. I make it to be a a, a real obstacle. Mm-hmm. But were you like, all right, I have to have this much saved? Was there like goals that had to be met before you were like, peace? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, well, this is the thing. I wanted to have a plan. Yeah. And that's what was holding me back okay. for so long. Um, like, I would talk to Mark about wanting to quit, but then I was thinking, like, if I quit, then that's going to put all the financial burden, mm-hmm. burden on him. Mm-hmm. And he's like, quit? Yeah, you should. You know, he's like, you got to um, do your own thing. But I was thinking, like, yeah, but how can you tell someone to do their own thing? If and they don't got a nice apartment, y'all. Like, this, <laughs> like, this is nice. <laughs> they're they're yeah, like in Fairmount. They're like they, they see this beautiful light. Like this house is nice. So I can understand the fear. Yeah. Um. So I think I got to a point. You know, I had been wanting to quit. Mm-hmm. Um. But then I was thinking, like, what else? What can you do? What else will I be able to get? Do I want to quit and find something else, or do I want to find something else first? Okay. And yeah, true, true. I don't know. I think I was just just getting more and more stressed. So I came to a point just at my job where it didn't even matter. <laughs> it's, it's time to go. <laughs> the security. <laughs> it didn't go. matter that I didn't have anything saved. I was just, I think I just got to a point where I was just like, I'm done. You supported her. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, she had ideas, but going from a steady paycheck to, to free flow. Yeah. It's a big shift, a big shift. Um, and uh, uh, another thing I just thought of yesterday, it's like money is actually just a different form of communication. Mm. Like if you break down money, some people, they don't even touch money, mm-hmm. but they can they can wield a lot of it, like producers or... It's a mindset. Yeah, it's a mindset. So how you attract money into your life and how you use it is ultimately how you view it. You know, because mm. some people might have plans to say, oh, I'm going to get this amount of money but the universe doesn't work like that. Mm. You know, you have your plan, but you got to work with the universe. You got to mm. work in these rules. And once you start understanding how things work, how you can intentionally mold your reality with the universe, then you can kind of, you can flow with money easier. And we're kind of learning that, you know, how to flow with what we want, let, let things be attracted to us. It has to take, well, I'm assuming it has to take a, <clears throat> a detachment from money. Like, you want money, but it's not like... It's not the all be-all. Yeah. All be all. yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I've heard of, like, having... Or trying to maintain, like, an abundance mindset where... Yeah. Even if the, you know, the money abundance isn't there right now, just the abundance of all the amazing things that you have in your yeah, life. the gratitude of Kind of staying in that vibe, and then that attracts more money to you, or more abundance more to you. More abundance to you. Right. Yeah. I'm like, okay... I ha- okay, if I want to do this, it's kind of all on me, and I have to be really disciplined about it, and I have to find my cr- find what my craft is going to be, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True, true. and be a master it, make it my 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 son like. That's true. Own it. Own it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. how much how do you difficult do you have difficulty with discipline? Do you think you found? You have your clay, <laughs> and you're just like, this is my clay, I'm about to start building with it. Because I don't know if I found my clay. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, messing with sand, that's falling apart. Like. <laughs> <laughs>